Getting to a thousand days active in Genshin is surely not an easy task, but what kept me motivated to play this game every single day? What does my account look like after this long? And most importantly, how much money was invested in this account? But before that, if you enjoyed this type of video, make sure you leave a like, maybe a subscribe to make sure you don't miss on a future video. Everything was streamed on twitch.tv slash lightwarrior59, so if you want to catch me live, I will leave a link in the description where you can leave a follow to know when I will be live. Now that we got that out of the way, let's jump right into the video. So first of all, I want to show my UID so I don't dox myself. AR60, world level 8. I don't know if this is really important, the name cards, but I do have a couple. I don't have all of them because I don't have every character. Sort by characters owned. Uh, no, I don't have all the 4 stars. But I have a variety of a lot of characters. Let's have a look at the teams. So my main team, the Ayaka team. Kutao team, this Mikoi combo that I have, Nilo, I haven't used Nilo in a while though, Ganyo, that I've incorporated um, there as well, Wanderer, his name is Akira in my uh, in my case, Yemiya, I will use there as well here, Tainari that is named uh, Ito, because at that time, at that time, I didn't have uh, this option. So I guess I'll rename this to Ito. Why not? Some Fontaine Exploration that I used and the Lady Kitching that I've used before before the Mikoe combo. These are my main teams. I haven't really much customized these after we got the 15 range, the 15 max uh, max team edits. So um, first of all, my character Ayaka is my main with her signature weapon. Let me explain for Earth Refinement 1. Artifact, Blizzard Stair, for piece Blizzard Stair and an off piece. They look like this. I will only show my main, uh, my main teams and then I'll show the rest of the, of the um, characters. She looks something like this. 41.9, 268.5 with a 142 energy recharge and 27% uh, cryo damage bonus and all the other damages that aren't really important. Constellation C2, I just got her to C2 and my goal is of course C6 for, uh, for Ayaka. Okay, talents of course. Triple Crown, since she is indeed my main. I've Triple Crown a lot of my characters just because I love them, so why not? For example, Kazuha is Triple Crown as well. Shenhei is double. Kokomi has a crown. But let's get to the, to the second character, which is Kazuha. My Kazuha is a hybrid of EM and some damage. I had him at a lot of EM, but I decided to give him just some uh, some crit rate, crit damage ratio, and some of the energy recharge. I have an anemo damage bonus goblet though. Uh, for weapons, I have Cyphos Moonlight because at R5 because it is mainly elemental mastery and gets a lot of energy recharge. So I have my ultimate up all the time. So why not? For artifacts, of course, VV, the Descent Venerar, just for the buffing of my uh, of my Aka. I mainly focus on Elemental Mastery, just because, but I do have some artifacts that are good for him to just damage. I haven't found an Elemental Mastery Goblet or a VV Elemental, a good Elemental Mastery circlet for Kazuha so I stuck with I'm stuck with those but of course I didn't really farm that much on the on the VV domain for constellation I have C1 I got C1 by accident a friend got this for me so I thank him it's extremely useful so why not triple crown of course and we move on to Shenha 
I got her skin last stream. I purchased it because I I use her a lot and why not get her skin since it's quite pretty. For my ratios, I have a lot of it attack because she scales off attack. Crit rate damage doesn't really help that much when she sees zero. Energy recharge just a little bit, so it's not completely zero. For weapons, missive wind spear at R5. I don't remember which event we got this from. But I use this since it's an attack based weapon. I wish I had her weapon. But when her weapon, uh, when she pre-ran, she did it with Ayaka. So, of course, I had to use my wishes on Ayaka. But um, I'll get her next time if she doesn't rerun with Ayaka again. For artifacts, of course, Noblesse Oblige. Starting with the flower. I just use them for the for this buff crit rate crit damage value I don't really care about that. I just want a lot of attacks. So all of my uh, All of my pieces are based off of attack or energy recharge Same with the goblet and same with the circle everything that even though this circle isn't that great It has a lot of energy recharge. So I stuck with, the, with it. This has a good crit rate crit damage ratio, but it's on attack so I Put it on Shenha. C0, I think I'll aim for her C6 after I'm done with uh, Ayaka C6 because they uh, she coordinates really good with Ayaka, so why not? For talents, double crown here because I use E, her elemental skill as well as elemental burst a lot. Again, for my Ayaka team. Now, to Kokomi. Kokomi is actually my healer. I do love having a healer as well, uh, as well in my team just so I don't consume food unnecessary. Uh, I have her though on buffing, meaning I have Thrilling Trails R5. She has a lot of HP just for my heal, but she's since she's Hydro, it's a good, uh, good freeze addition for my Ayaka. So uh, that's a plus as well. I don't think it really matters her her stats here. I, again, I have a lot of HP, so she can uh, she can heal. This don't matter. 167 uh, energy charge with 75.9 healing bonus, hydro damage bonus. I don't know what's here. Why is this here? I hope I don't have a hydro damage bonus. No, I don't. All right, flower again. Crit rate, crit damage values don't really matter on Kokomi, so I stuck with what matters the most: energy recharge. I think this is my only flower in this uh, in this set. That's actually okay. Maybe this one, but I don't really care. On the on the feather again, a lot of energy charge, so I have my ult all the time, just in case her um, her normal healing from um, from the jellyfish isn't enough. HP, HP, healing bonus. Again, energy recharge. I have some crit rate, but it really doesn't matter. More energy recharge and some defense, because why not? And this is just because it's in set and it has healing bonus. You can ignore all of this and some HP, why not? All right. For Constellation C0, I don't think Kokomi's uh, constellations really help in my scenario and I crowned her E because why not? I use her E all the time and I'm pretty sure this is extremely useful. Her world doesn't really matter that much. Okay, continuing we have Ito. Ito I really got him by accident. My Ito is the most basic build. I have just some crit rate. I, I know I need more crit rate but I really do not want to farm that domain again a lot of defense he scales on defense some energy recharge not that much because i have uh, i have a geo in his team with her with yunji we'll get to her later so that's why i don't have i don't really have that much uh, energy recharge on him for weapons i have uh, his signature i got this signature because i wanted to get his weapon to get uh, the, the wanderer's weapon but I lost the 50-50, so I'm stuck with this and haven't wished again on that banner. But it's pretty good on him, his signature, why not? For set, 
Task of Open and Dreams. Oh, I don't think I said the name of the sets. So Noblesse and Ocean Heat Clam for just heal and a lot of text. Basically, just damage based on heal. For his set, Task of Opulent and Dreams, they don't look that great. They are, I think, the first things they uh, they dropped, or I don't know, the best I have on uh, on my set. A defense sense because he scales on defense, but the rest is just geo, geo damage bonus and uh crit damage mask why not i i know i need a better mask it just has a hundred different this is for meme but i again i got tired of farming that domain so they they will stay like this actually the constellation c0 and i don't have him at crown it would be nice to triple crown him after i just have a lot of crowns and don't know what to do with them but it's not a priority now wanderer Wanderer here, I use him a lot, It's he's quite fun just because of the flight thing. I have him at basic crit rate crit damage and he gets 100% when I uh, grab Cryo with his, uh, with his elemental skill. For weapon with it R5, my best weapon in the catalyst range I think, yeah, my best weapon. For him, I wanted his signature, I think I'll roll for his signature when he reruns, but I don't know, depending on what uh, on what characters are coming next. His uh, best in slot set, Desert Pavilion Chronicle, they're not the best pieces that we have here, just basic stuff, so I have him build, even though I use him that much. What he has, it's enough to get me through all the content. And basically, that's what I uh, what I aim for. C zero. I don't have. Uh, I haven't um, rolled any any constellations and nine 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 because um, I wanted him to be at least better with what attributes I have. Next up, we have Zhao. I got Zhao pretty early, but uh, I got a little tired of him. He's quite fun, but uh, haven't used him in. In a long time, I think it's just again basic build. One to two ratio, of some attack and uh, an ammo. This is the shop weapon. I have it at R1. I think I have another one. Yes, I do have another one. I don't remember why though. My un union, I don't think she's built. I would give him the trident just for the looks, but I haven't built a trident yet. So yeah, this, this is actually my best in slot for him. I don't use uh, Homa on um, on Zhao. I think I had this set, but I probably stole some artifacts from him. He's not really that, that build, to be honest. Again, C0, I don't have luck with, uh, with him. But he was one of the first crowns that I had. But again, got a little tired. I never finished his build. He's nice. Don't 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 get me wrong. I like his gameplay, and I do come back when uh, when I read to the abyss to play some Zhao. But I don't use him as much as I use my Ayaka, for example. So yeah. Next we have Yula. I had Yula's signature weapon, but I lost it. I'll get into that maybe later or another time. She has again some basic crit rate crit damage. I, I got Eula by uh, by accident again, so I didn't really intend to roll for her. But I got her. I built her. She's actually quite fun. Don't why not? Serpent spine and R two serpent spine. I don't think I have other serpent spines that I have forgotten about them. No, just the battle pass weapon does the job. Artifacts. I have her pale flame set. The signature set for for her just some basic things i cannot roll crit rate on this set whatever i do i am tired farming of, for this set again so i think i'm a little glad that i lost her weapon because her weapon is on physical and now i have some crit rate i never got to have high crit rate on her so i guess works c0 and 889 when I uh, decided to leave her at 9 was the f was when I lost her weapon and uh, didn't crown her. 
Next we have Ganyu. Uh, Ganyu will be next on uh, my skin buying uh, things, but for now I don't have that a priority. 2000 attack. She has a big uh, high crit rate because she's cryo end of her uh, ascension to passive. So around 40 with 200 crit damage, energy recharge a bit and some cryo damage bonus. 2000 attack, it's pretty alright. I have air 5 Hamayumi. I never got the chance to get uh, Amos Bow. I always wanted Amos Bow, but I never got Amos Bow. So I'm stuck with Hamayumi. At least it's R5, so that's alright. With Wanderers, she's a Melt Ganyu. Basic artifacts again. I think my best artifacts are on uh, on the things that you saw, maybe. I don't remember. I at least uh, they're they're not built for big damage. They're built to withstand the the um, difficulty of this game. So they aren't really that uh, the, the artifacts aren't really that great. Just some basic stuff to get me through. Because Abyss uh, I can easily do with Ayaka. With C2. I haven't even tried the C2 yet. I've done the my last Abyss was when she was C0, so I guess this time would be would be different. Back to Ganyu again. C0 again. Her C1. I don't even know. I think she's relevant at 6 C6, 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 but not that much. I've crowned her basic because she deals a lot of damage. I have her in a team with uh, with burning, so Dendro and uh, and Pyro. So I, I melt almost every time. That's why I uh, I crowned her basic. He does the elemental skill doesn't matter and the ultimate. I think I forgot to crown it, but or I was out of uh, of crowns. Next we have Miko. Miko is actually pretty nice. I wanted her for a long time. I got her i think recently not really recently i think a year ago before um before fontaine i think she rerun with uh yoimiya 75 with 225 1700 attack basics again basic stuff i, I say basic stuff but i don't think it's really basic stuff electro damage bonus she's on 15 i don't know what artifact she has i have her weapon at r3 because i uh the, when she ran with Yoimiya, I really wanted her weapon and got Miko's three times instead because I wanted to trick the system and the system tricked me. So now I have her weapon R3, which is really not that much of a damage increase. Uh, refinement for weapons aren't really worth. She's on 2-2. I think she was my first real test and this is what I have for... Uh, the most damage based on the substats. These are the artifacts that she has right now. Attack, Elemental Mastery, and Crit Rate. I think I use her on Elemental Mastery Goblet because of, of her uh, totems to deal more damage. She is on 306 Elemental Mastery. Constellation, I have C0. I, instead of the R3 weapon, some constellation would have been nice. Talents, I haven't managed to triple crown to, to crown her at least because uh, I think I either forgot or I didn't have any crowns. At that time when I got her, I don't think I had any crowns, so probably that's why. Next we have A or Raiden Shogun. She is a support, not that much of a main DPS. I because I use her with uh, with Miko. So I don't really ult her with her, I just use her E. And uh, I have a lot of energy recharge because that's how she's built. 1800 attack with the catch. Yeah, I fished for R5 the catch. I wish I had her signature. I think this is my uh, this is my next goal. I don't get signatures for, uh, for their power, for their um, damage output or big numbers as much as I like like to get them for uh, for how they look on the character artifacts emblem of silver fate the best in slot for her again not that much i don't really farm artifact domains after i'm done with the with the set and maybe some okay pieces 
I usually don't uh, don't do this, and I stopped actually farming artifacts in, artifacts in general because I got a little tired of it. Energy recharge, attack, and crit damage. I have uh, her on attack goblet because it, on, in my case, she does more damage when she's on an attack goblet. And second of all, I don't have uh, a, an electro damage bonus goblet that's uh, on the same set, and I don't want to change this because I think it's my bet the best crit damage circlet that I can spare for her. No constellations again and talents I did triple crown her because I do like I do like Raiden. So I guess my next goal is to, to double crown at least Miko. I triple crown just for the sake of it. I think I had her normal attack at 8 and I had my spare uh, talent books, not that books, my light. <sighs> These the philosophies of light. I had spare uh, philosophies of light because I don't think the first time I uh, roll for Miko, I got her, so I triple crown her just because of rage. I'm not really sure. We have Kiching. I think Kiching was my. It, she's my first five star. That I my first actually standard five star. My first five star. I think Splee, if I do remember correctly. But Kiching is my first uh, standard character that I got. And I tried so much to perfect her. This is the best I have. 86, 200, 100 energy recharge with 61.6 electro damage. 1400 attack. The attack is a little uh, lower just because I have the Jade Cutter on her. For that sweet crit rate, doesn't really uh, matter. She does a lot of damage with her Dendro team. For artifacts, Thundering Fury, of course. I think this is my best set in Thundering Fury with some elemental mastery because of uh, Quicken and Aggravate. She does a lot more damage in elemental ma with elemental mastery uh, sense than attack. Electro damage bonus and some uh, crit damage. She's C4. Again, she's a standard character. I have her, uh, a goal to get her C6. I think she's the only one that I wish I can lose 50-50 uh, to. I do want to finish her uh, her constellation to have at least her being my first C6 standard. For talents, of course, triple crown. This is 13 because of her uh, C3. So yeah, triple crown her. She was my uh, first standard and my first main in um, uh, my first main after all. Now we have Nahida. Oops, Nahida. She's actually pretty nice with. She has 1200 attack, 920 elemental mastery. I build her own elemental mastery for that, uh, for those procs. The crit rate damage doesn't really matter. I have some energy recharge on her and no, uh, no dendro damage bonus. I don't play her as a DPS. I play her as as a support. For her weapon, I don't think I have another of these. No, I don't. R4 Wandering Even Star. I think this is the best four star i have for her and it's on elemental mastery so more damage she does i think procs of 20 to 25,000, and they are pretty common when uh, when ulting with electro so it's actually extremely good gilded dreams for the set just for this long passive mostly I think I need to change my uh, flower and feather. Mostly I go for energy recharge and elemental mastery. A lot of elemental mastery. So that I don't really care on uh, on substance. I just had elemental mastery on everything. I wanted her weapon. I'm not sure why I didn't roll for it. I think I rolled but never got it. I don't remember on, uh, on what banner. C0. I never got any constellation for her. And of course double crown. She's extremely great in combat and does a lot of damage with her, uh, her domain expansion ability. So uh, she deserved the double crown. Next we have the Traveler that I actually use. Lumin has the most basic crit rate, crit damage value, a lot of energy recharge and a lot of dendo damage bonus. Because she is using a Favonius for some uh, particle generation and I have Dendro Resistance uh, Shred for Nahida. So these two go well with each other and I use Keqing or A and uh, Miko 
overall, so it's actually a good debuffer for the enemy. With, I've, I don't think these are actually basic, I think they're the best I have in this slot. I do have uh, Kirara as well. Attack, Dendro damage bonus and crit rate, so just basic Dendro damage dealer, even though I use her as a support. Constellation doesn't really matter because you get everything for free. And Talents, I almost crowned her, but uh, I think, again, it was in the same time that I didn't uh, really had any, any crowns. Next, I have Furina. I've waited for Furina for, ex for almost a year when I heard the first leak on uh, on her. I have a big crit rate here, 88 with 219 crit damage. Energy recharge, 100%, I don't have any energy chance apparently. And 46.6 hydro damage, so I have a goblet. Again, she is on her best weapon, her best in slot. When she released, I used everything I had for a C0 and uh, R1 set. I really want, I loved her design, I loved her weapon, and I started uh, starting saving my primos when uh, I heard the first leak on her. So, um, I guess I haven't wish before her, before Fontaine and before her banner, I haven't used my wishes or my primo gems for a couple of months. My last banner that I wished in that period was... Uh, I think Miko and Yoimiya's banner. And then I started, I think it was uh, around January or February last year. And then I s full on saved for Furina, not even a wish. So I got her C0 R1 day one. And before that, I started farming artifacts as well as materials as well as everything uh, that i could and that was available for uh, for her uh, release artifacts golden troop her best in slot i use her both as a support with her e normal e and as a healer in my uh, in my putao team as well as my yoimiya team i think again i got her basic um, basic artifacts and then i think i uh, farmed for a little uh, for little upgrades and then after i got this ratio i said all right that's enough and stopped farming constellation c0 i never got uh, more constellation just because next up on the line on the waiting list was ayaka so i wanted to save everything for ayaka talents triple crown i actually waited a long time for this triple crown just because she needed uh, the new boss. This took a while, but I got her to triple crown. Next, Nilo. Nilo, I got her literally just for her design. Her gameplay, I don't think that it's really that interesting. Uh, it's nice. It's actually, she's actually a little build. I think I have a signature weapon, but it's not on her. I got this weapon instead, the uh, Al High Thumbs weapon, but I don't I think I got this weapon because I didn't have uh, Ayaka's signature. Ayaka's signature I had for, at first, and then uh, uh, I lost it again. It was one of the casualties. And I, uh, Al High Thumbs was on, one was on the banner, and I said, why not? Let me try to see if I can get this weapon. And it was pretty good for Ayaka for a long time. For Yumi, I do have her signature, but I don't use uh, Nilo that much. I use Kirara more, and I gave to Kirara. We'll, we'll get to her later, though. For artifacts, I have Flower of the Paradise Lost. It's actually pretty good for her, for her bloom, uh, bloom damage. Just a little crit damage, crit rate here and there, and a lot of HP. She scales off HP. For Constellation C0, and she has a basic 888 combination on talents. That's Nilo. Next, I have Yelan. Yelan, I think I want to roll for her a bit more. I want more constellations on her because I use Yelan extremely much, if that's English. Almost 80 crit rate with 240 crit damage, some hydro damage bonus, some energy recharge, and basic uh, some HP. I think I have uh, one of the artifacts is on HP. Little low attack because I use her as a 
sub DPS, for Huta or for, uh, or for Yoimiya. Apa Simulacra, it's actually the best in slot for her and it's actually pretty nice. Does the, uh, does the job and looks uh, extremely well with her design, fits perfectly. Artifact, of course, Emblem of Silver Fate, HP with Hydro Damage Bonus and Crit Rate. I think again, it it's just the basic concept. For Constellation C0, I want to go for C1. This uh, this second elemental skill is actually pretty useful, but okay, of course, C6 isn't that bad of, uh, either. For talents, I triple crown her because I use her almost every day. So why not? We're going to Dea. Dea I got pretty recently. I lost a 50-50 when uh, I uh, rolled for Ayaka. So I could have had uh, C3 at this moment, but uh, it's not a bad thing because I actually wanted Dea, but uh, I didn't know when or where to get her. So now that I got her, I built. I made a pretty simple build, just a 1 to 2 ratio, some energy recharge, and I actually use her for the for her elemental skill. Serpent Spine, some basic uh, weapons, and Tenacity of Memory to buff my, uh, my other characters. And I think these are my only good pieces on this set. Attack, attack and HP. I think it's just so I had this I have the set. I don't think uh, this is how you build her, but it's just so I have the set and uh, I think she scales on HP. Yeah, she scales on match HP, so that's why I had uh, I have a circlet, an HP circlet. Constellation C0 and talents 8-8. Again, the basic. Next up, we have Yoimiya. I actually like Yoimiya. 2000 attack, she's built with 63 to 142. She actually does crit a lot, even though this uh, crit rate is uh, pretty low. I don't know how that works. Some energy, uh, energy recharge and basic pyro damage. With 2000 attack, she has her signature weapon. I, I got the signature weapon after I got uh, three copies of this. So I didn't stop there. I wanted her to nature the weapon because that's why I uh, rolled on um, on the weapon banner there. I didn't want Miko's signature, but I got three of them. So I guess that's that. But at least I got uh, this weapon because it looks amazing on her. I like the design a lot. And I like this design, this boss design in general. For artifacts, Shimenawa, I think it's her best in slot. Um, what do we have here? I think this is my best piece, it's an off piece, it's my best flower. Some crit rate, crit damage here and there with... A, I, I think I tried to farm a lot of these uh, Shimino pieces and never got a better circlet. I think this is my only crit damage in this, uh, in this set and I never got another one. And I farmed that domain a lot and got bored. C0, I think her constellations aren't really that great probably c6 but uh, not that great again the basic ne i have double i have crown so double crown here the alt isn't the ult isn't really that useful so i, I i'm stuck with the basic and um, and the uh, elemental skill next up we have hutao which is uh, literally my favorite Of course, 1100 attack, some uh, 32,000 max HP, I have 75.8 with 222.9 crit rate crit damage value, some energy recharge, some pyro damage bonus from the goblet and I think the set as well. I have her signature, Staff of Coma, I don't remember when I got the weapon but I think I won the 50-50, I'm not really sure. For artifacts, Crimson Witch, and I think it's my best Crimson, Crimson Witch I have. I use HP, um, HP uh, Sense because uh, I uh, do want to do damage with her, even though I don't have uh, the enemy with Hydra on him on it. So it's just a general HP build. 
with a pyro damage goblet and a crit rate uh, a crit rate circle i think this is my best in best crit rate i have and of course for me just some defense c1 i uh, i wanted her c1 just for um, just so i don't uh, consume stamina when i have the the e on talents of course triple crown she was one of my mains i do love uh, love her gameplay and i do love Utao, so she gets a triple crown from me now yunjin yunjin is uh, i use her as a support and she is actually ito's support and the best geo support i have i think she's the only one i don't think i have goro or if i have goro he's not built with Favonius for more particle generations and past of Opulendry. I don't think the artifacts matter. It's just energy recharge to have her ult all the time. I think this is my only goblet in this set I have, so I can get her some crit rate. So I don't I don't really mess this one to ratio up. Constellation, of course, C6 for that attack speed it's amazing i don't remember how i got her cc i don't think i rolled for her intentionally i think she was just on the banner at the time i rolled on the banner uh what is this level seven i think level seven is here i don't remember why i never got level eight but sure next i have lynette that you get for free i never got her any constellation i built her because i did like her design and her gameplay she has i think the most basic things you can get for a character 2000 attack 3168 and apparently a lot of animal damage bonus i don't know why that much i think this is the free to play weapon and i uh, put on her just because it looks amazing and i love this weapon for artifacts apparently two with two not the best that you can get most of my characters are based on the open world exploration so take everything with a bit of salt and basic 8-8 eight, eight. and i think i level her to level 3 just because i had the the talent level materials now i have farazan farazan i actually use to buff my uh, my wanderer i built her again one to two ratio a lot of energy recharge so i can have uh, her ult all the time as well as my other uh, characters ult, my, my wanderers ult that's why i gave her a Fafonius as well she is in team with bennett on uh, on that matter so why not i think i want a noblesse full but i don't think i i've ever farmed for uh, for all of the noblesse so i'm stuck with this two if two it's actually pretty good energy recharge is always welcome because her ult just consumes a lot of energy elemental mastery i think that's because this was my only sense some elemental mastery animal damage bonus and a crit rate she's built to support c2 i think she was with someone on banner the c6 wouldn't hurt but uh, i might uh, might wish for her constellation later and talents basically 888 just because i had the resources hazel I actually used as a main DPS a long time ago because he's extremely fun. I think he's the first catalyst that doesn't really catalyst. He's the first punch user, and I actually enjoy that. He has Witsit R5 again. I have a lot of Witsit, so why not use them, of course. Artifacts 2 if 2 just for a lot of damage. I think I prioritized the substats on my artifacts. Again, attack, anemo, and crit rate. Just basically normal artifacts and just a lot of damage so I can hit a lot of people. C6, I think I actually tried to roll for him. I don't really remember. It's been a while. And talents, 888. I never triple crowned him. I don't think I had the resources for that or for the four crowns. Now we have Leila. Leila is in team with uh, my uh, Wanderer and she's just another shield user. I have a lot of shield users. They're actually pretty useful. So I just build her the most basic shield you can get. HP, a lot of HP with Favonia so I can have a lot of uh, particle generation and tenacity of the Middle East for that 
sweet buffed because she can attack off, off field. Artifacts, again, not that great, just basic stuff. They are okay. HP, 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 it's what I, uh, I go for uh, for my shielders. Constellation, apparently I stopped for. I think I never got her uh, past that. I'm just waiting for standard or uh, just casualties to give me constellations. And talents, 888 for the basic stuff. Now, Diona is next. And Diona is, I think, my first shield user that I've uh, I've built, and I have a lot of energy recharge because I think she is in a team with uh, without healer, so I just have Diona be my healer. So that's why I have a lot of HP for her healing and her shield. Sacrificial bow, so I can get two shields at once, so I don't have to wait on the cooldown. Artifacts again, tenacity of the melee. I think she has my best tenacity set. It's either her or I'm saving for Zhongli. No, it's definitely not her. Energy recharge, HP, HP. I used to have a healing bonus, but on the other, it's not that great. So just a bit of energy recharge, so I don't uh, have to spam. C6, of course. I wanted just C2 for shielding any other characters on my team, correct, any other players that's what, that are on my world because I used to play with uh, a low AR friend of mine, but I got to C6, C6 eventually, so it's not that uh, that much of a deal. And talents, I have an eight and uh, I think this is seven. No, this is nine actually, it's a nine and a seven here. Yeah, one, I think I wanted triple crown, but I, I um, didn't want to farm freedom. And that's it. Next, I have Kirara. Kirara is actually pretty nice. I do enjoy her gameplay and her exploration abilities. And um, I think she's in team with Miko because that team doesn't have a healer and uh, a shielder is always, uh, always useful. Then the damage bonus on the 15 side, I think for the set and a lot of HP. I mean, it's a lot of HP. The weapon is Nilo's best weapon because it has it gives her 66% HP. I'm not really sure if uh, if this uh, effect triggers. Maybe just two out of three stacks triggers, but I don't. Uh, I don't really care about this. I want this one. And I have deep wood. I usually place my deep wood supports on uh, different teams. This effect doesn't stack. So she's like in a different team from Lumin every time. For artifacts, just apparently I have a lot of attack and crit damage. I think these these are just basic deep wood uh, artifact that I have. HP, HP, HP is what I opted for. I think that's why the rest are just basic, so I can get the the Dendro Shred. For constellations, I have C0, which now I remember. I think yeah. Would have been actually useful to get her constellations and talents i have e at nine so i have maximum shield without a crown i might get her a crown but probably later since i don't have that many next up my bennett the the pyro archon which i, I love to call him um attack 1720,000 max hp 53 132 i have 1799 base attack and i'll tell you why in a minute a lot of energy recharge just so I can uh, have my wood up all the time and a lot of pyro damage. Weapon, it's Skyward Blade. I used to have a killer. I think at this point I would have had a, ki had a killer Favonia at R5, but again, it got deleted. And, uh, uh, the same incident as the other weapons. So I'm stuck with Skyward Blade that I got recently. And it's actually pretty good on Bennett because it has pretty high base attack and it also gives me energy recharge, which Bennett uh, pretty much lacks. And I built Bennett with Noblesse, but I have built him as, an, uh, as a sub DPS, just because I can. Attack, Pyro and Crit Rate, just so I can ult and pretty much do the same damage as Hutao for basic, so why not? Why not have him like this? Because with Noblesse, he can buff his abilities, buff his E deals damage and create particles. But why not have uh, more damage while I'm at it? Constellation, unfortunately, it is C6 because of the same incident 
that I have my weapon removed. Someone got on my account, a hacker, and uh, and it's not a story for this time, but uh, long story short, he CC'd my Bennett, and because I, had, I actually had that uh, exclamation mark, mark. I had that for a long time. And uh, after my weapon got deleted, this thing happened as well. So C6 Bennett, yeah, it's not that really that bad. I cannot use him with Eula or any other uh, infusion type character, but I at least can use him with, uh, with my pyro character, so I still use him. Of course, I crown his ult ultimate because of the attack bonus ratio, it's amazing. He does give a lot of buffs and uh, I never crown her E because I don't really need that E. And now I think these are my... Oh no, I still have a couple. Mona, I apparently she's not built. I had her build at one time, but I stopped using her because uh, I think I got other characters. She's at uh, Constellation 8 with C1. Child, Child, I used to play him. Yeah. Someone got my uh, my bad artifact. He doesn't have a bow anymore and he's on 8-8 eight, eight, and I think this is 7. So yeah, I haven't played Tartar in a long time. Diluc again, I haven't played him in a long time. I have him at C4 because uh, the game loves me. And um, um, I think he was my first 8-8-8 eight, eight, eight character. Then I stopped playing him. Kujasara is actually built, I don't know what the, what the disorder is, but uh, Kujasara, I think she's my last character that's built, I don't think so, I have to check next. Kujasara is my next character, I used to use her with uh, Raiden Shogun, before I got, um, before I got uh, Miko. She is built again like a support, not that, not that great as the fact that one is a plus 18. I think she has the what I don't use on other characters. 8-8 eight, eight, again, and she's C6. Now, Xinchu, Xinchu is great, but I don't think... I, I, I still don't have a refinement, I think, for that... Uh, well, actually, I do. Let's just do this so I don't forget. I think this is my last... Uh, this is my first and last sacrificial, so I don't think I have other characters that use sacrificial. Artifacts, of course, emblem. I don't really have a team for Xinchu. She's pretty great with Yelan, but at this point I just use Furina, so yeah, this is level zero and this is level five. So he's just here. He's 6-6. Six, six. I used him a lot. Those were the good old days before Yelan, I think. And that's why I have him uh, crowned with his ultimate. Zhang Ling. I think this is just basic artifact. I don't oh, know, actually, she is built. 5486 with a lot of elemental mastery, pyro damage bonus. A dragon's bane R5 works great with her. And emblem, uh, this is level 18. And emblem of Silver Fate. I, apparently, all of the emblem that you can get. Constellation C3 because I never got her other constellation and I have her Pyronado. And these two are both level 5, so. Why not? Chichi, I don't think I want her. I wanted her. But at this point, the, uh, the rest of the characters are level 80. I don't think they matter that much. They're not really built. This is Kazuha's weapon and just normal. For constellations, just C2. I haven't got disappointed Chichi splash art. So uh, the rest of the characters are level 80 with, since Klee was my first. Uh, five star. I actually built her to the last ascension, but I never got her to level 90. And I think that's it when it comes to characters because most the rest of them are just either level 80 and not built or uh, just going down. These are, these were my first characters in my first team that I used. Cookie Amber actually used a lot, Amber a lot. So why not? Lisa has her skin. Jinyan, Jin has, I have the Jinyan, Jin skin as well, Sayu, this character I don't really use, and, oh, I have Goro, Goro, but I never built him, and the rest of the characters are just, oh, I can ascend her, why not have a free wish, I uh, do tend to have all my characters, at least the first ascension, just for, just for the, 
the standard wish. So that's all the characters I have. Now I guess it's time for my actual inventory. Weapons, I already showed them, but not them all. So just a quick peek here. I got his, uh, the Baizu's weapon. I don't remember where though. I think it was during Farina's banner, but I cannot remember. I think I got like this first and I lost 50-50 and the next temple was this weapon. I think this, that's how it, uh, it went. I don't really remember. Then what I have here, just some um, free to play options and then the battle pass ones. A lot and a lot of four stars and it ends here with the level 90 and the rest are just normal level ones and a lot of weapons. I don't think the three stars matter, but sure, just a lot, a lot of weapons and a lot of core enhancement. When uh, my weapon got deleted, they weren't actually deleted, they were fed into these things, into one star weapons or two star weapons and you get this back. However, I've already used those to try it and level up some free to play option and some things. Again, a story for another time and this is what I farm until now. Since I don't really get that many weapons, I don't need to level up that many weapons just for fun. So. I have a lot of uh, a lot of uh, ore. Artifacts don't really matter. I have a lot of uh, artifacts that I don't use and a lot of artifacts in my inventory as well, 951. I think that, it, yeah, it's not that many four stars and three stars or the others. Some essence here and there, but I have a lot of, I have a, like a pretty good stock of artifacts in case another uh, character that I like drops and I have to build, him, build that character. Next we have the materials, the character development items. And since of course I stopped uh, getting all the characters that you can get and uh, I have my characters pretty much level up, uh, this stacked up is just, you know, you can press that button. And now I have a lot. I guess I can get, I can make an ultimate goal of um, building every single character that I have, but I don't know if that's like useful or something. And with time, I just got a lot of materials since I don't really use them. This was Furina's, uh, what do you call it, materials. And the rest of them, a lot of boss materials so i stopped farming the bosses as well i'm just farming this last one because uh, it's new and i don't have a bunch of it boss materials i think i have one of at least one of each i'm not really sure if i uh, if i do that a lot of small materials a lot of um, talent materials I don't know if there is one that I never used. I think equity I never used again as justice. I think I used for Furina maybe or order. I don't remember seven crowns and I'm still saving up. There are some characters that I could uh, crown, but it's not, it's not a priority now. And just some normal materials that I don't farm anymore. I just wait on them because you get it from, um, from events, food stuff, not that important. I think I do get a lot. Of, I do have a lot of potions, and I just cook every time, every week, just for some uh, for battle pass uh, requests. For materials, I don't think I've done this quest, or I don't know what these are, and just a lot of billets or prototypes, what they were used to be called. It's not that, uh, that I don't really make free to play options. It, I think I just craft them for looks. I think that's the, that's the reason I have so, so little. And I don't think these matters. I used to go to the shop every time and buy the whole stock, but I am tired of that. Oh yeah. 
50, 50 million mora when your AR60 and everything gives you more up, it just stacks up and you don't, since I don't really have a lot of ways to use it, it again stacks up. So 50 million is what I have. I think just a, some gadgets. I think I, I for, again forgot about this one. I'll do it later. Story items, not that important. I have two cakes here. I have 55 fragile resin because I don't really use resin anymore. I stopped doing that. I wish I would have more than five condensed. This is for exchanging the name of, uh, of Wonder. 34 Dream Solvent. What do we have here? Any more some as of full of depth of speed. One of each because I've completed these four regions. I've completed, I think I have one more level for hydrocuracies and yeah, we just got these ones and this one. Let's go check um, my map. So first of all, Monstadt, I have 100% completed Monstadt. There's no tree here in Monstadt. However, there is something here. There is this one. If wins come glo comes glory, uh, how do you use this? Yeah, browse items. Yeah, I've completely uh, purchased this entire stock and I've stopped exploring Mondstadt. I still have this annoying thing. It's from a commission and I never got that. So I just got tired. Level eight, again, max level in Mondstadt with 100% exploration. Next we have Dragon Spine here, and Dragon Spine also has a tree time. Yeah, level 12, the max level, I got every single reward here. Next up, Lue, again 100% Lue, those sigils, so why not use them? So yeah. Everything is completed. I can exchange this for Mora, so why not? Again, reputation, world exploration 100%. I apparently I still have some quests in there, or maybe they're from um, from the new area. And max level, level eight. Inazuma. I think Inazuma was actually the first 100% that I did because of uh, its island structure. It was pretty easy to do 100% here, and then I went for Mondstadt and uh, and Le and Dragon Spine took a, a, actually a while. I'm a reputation in Azuma, 100% work exploration. I think this is yeah, Battle of Revenge. It's still an, uh, a commission-based quest, so I gave up on that again. And uh, level 10, so I got the wings. Next up, we have actually Enkanomia. Enkanomia, 98% because uh, I got tired of this place. I could not find any more chests, so uh, I just stopped. Now, next we have Sumeru. Oh, apparently, there, yeah, the Chasm is a thing as well. I don't think I have 100% on Chasm. 96 on the Chasm, and the Underground Chasm is... 96 as well so i haven't explored everything here but i don't really want to go past that there's no point and it's just boring to to explore the last bits because of the limited range that you have on the on the compass sumero i have some places with 100 percent but not all the places and sumero is pretty huge so i literally stopped exploring i think when i was out of content and i uh, wanted to do something on genshin i really wanted to play genshin i uh, just started exploring and like you can see i'm pretty close at least here this is 99 and this is 90 i think this is literally one chest again here and the rest is 99 98 now let me see if i remember where the here 95 apparently world exploration here, but I'm on level 10. So yeah, I got the wings on in Sumero. And now we have Fontaine that I, I have daily commissions as well. I think I'll do the event next, so why not? 
Um, where is the... Uh, it's here. If you want to say hi to YouTube, you're up. And level 10 here. So this is my... Um, this is my uh, reputation in every every region and well that is done for battle pass it renews every time so i'm at level six in my book what what was this his experience yeah of course we have uh, we have a chapter maximum i have every four star every outfit for a four star character I still need to get Klee skin and Deluxe, and I'll get this one later, apparently not that far away. Quest, I still need to do some world quests, so I guess we can do this today. Uh, some story quest, I don't remember what this is. I think this is for uh, for the event. I don't have any other Archon quest, and I still have to finish this type of quests. And one, uh, one more hangout, so um, yeah, why not? But again, I'll talk about this later to show proof that I did own these, these weapons. This one, this one, what got deleted, this one. So I do have them unlocked. I just don't have any of them anymore. It's not a big deal. I got used to that, so don't worry about that. I'll get to that, to the to what happened later but for now i think that everything may be in the abyss but abyss i usually clear it either with 36 like the full stars or with uh, 32 so between 32 and 36 i don't uh, waste all my time on uh, 36 starting the abyss it's not really that worth it those 50 primos aren't that worth it oh yeah the serenity pot i don't think this is that much uh, it is that useful to be honest i have 26,000 of these all the vials trust rank is 10 trust rank and it is fit for a king i have all the transformation for that uh, for that matter i don't have my serenity port really beautiful i say i've stopped purchasing these because I'm not I'm in no need of this and I have the I have all the vials that I will ever need so it's no uh, it's not a problem inside I just have my companions not all of them I have a couple of companions I'm just putting them for oh now you can see their companionship level well this would have been useful a long time ago and now they're sorted interesting and what you have is there so most of it didn't mean to exit most of them uh, really there's not much here just everything put at random so i can have a lot of uh, a lot of points i guess so i can get the maximum amount of currency but i could stay and just design things since i'm no longer in need of anything in the shop but it's not that uh, that useful to do so. But now that I'm done here, level 7, not mind me. And that was the end of the stream. And yes, I know this video was a little longer, but I covered everything that was important for my account, except for the money spent on this account. But that is for another video. So let me know how much do you think this account values and how much do you think I've spent on this account in the comments below. And I'll let you know the final price in my next video. Thank you everybody so much for watching and for staying till the end. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.